Welcome back to my channel. This is actually my first uh, voiceover video. Um, this is just a quick look that I done. I was thinking I was on my way to work and then I thought I'd film something. I didn't have too much time so obviously this is why I'm doing a, a voiceover because it's a lot quicker. I intend to do like all my Halloween videos, um, voiceover videos as well so better get used to it. So anyway let's just crack on with the video. So, the primer that I'm using is the Urban Decay um, Primer Potion in Eden and I will use this again in the eye look. So I'm just popping it all over the lid and then I'm blending it in with my finger. I'm just popping some NYX concealer above my brow and just blending it in. This just makes it easier for when you're uh, putting on the rest of your foundation. I also prefer the foundation above my eyebrow to be a bit lighter so that's why I'm using a concealer as well. And then I'm going over it with a mascara spoolie. A spoolie, a mascara wand, who knows what it's called, but yeah. It's got no product on it, it's just to brush the brows to make them a bit neater. And it makes the product go on a lot easier. And for the product I'm using the LMFL, I think it's in shade Stare I think. Or something, oh, called that anyway. And I'm just starting off with the front of the brow and I'm underlining it first of like the rough shape that I want. And then just filling filling in the rest of the brown short little strokes and then I'm using my Sienna uh, brow palette and I'm using the darker shade because obviously I've got black hair and I always tend to find that the brow tail because obviously it's drawn on the majority of it because I don't have much hair there I usually tend to find that you could always sort of like tell that the it's just product so I feel if you set it with a powder such as a brow powder it kind of just makes that it, that little bit darker and harder to tell that it's just product there no brow so as you can see I think it looks a lot better and then I'm using the Naked Skin uh, Armand Decay concealer just underneath my brow just to tidy up and I'm also using it at the front of the brow I think this is in the shade pink which obviously is a good sort of like highlight colour for under the brow just helps it stand out and cleans it up a little bit more. Taking the Naked Basics palette in Walk of Shame, as you can see, is dearly loved. And I'm just popping that carefully and precisely underneath my brow. Don't go in too harsh because then you'll just end up ruining the nice sort of neat line that you've created. Um, I then like to just put it all over the lid. What that helps does, it sets the primer, uh, the Eden primer. I'm using the Jeffree Star Beauty Color Palette and I'm using the shade Courtney which is a really nice transition shade. As you can see I dropped my palette and it kind of broke which is sad. So yeah I'm starting off by placing the product in the centre of the lid and then working it in, blending it back and forth and in circular motions at the same time. This helps to get like a really neat transition from the two colours Walk of Shame and Courtney obviously. So. Um, I just build this up straight across the lid. There you go. I do go back in with the product maybe once or twice and then I repeat this step just on the other eye as you can see. I'm taking my matte palette, um, I think it's in neutral warm I think. And I'm using the shade Saddle and I can't remember what that dark colour is called but I'll have to look. I'll have it in the comments but I'm using Saddle and that darker colour. Um, Saddle is such a nice colour, I like it a lot. It's like Courtney but just a little bit deeper so I'm just placing that where I put Courtney, exact same, back and forth, circular motions, just concentrating it in the crease area and it, all that's doing is just intensifying it and just giving it a bit more depth. I really like this like sort of shape that I'm doing, it's like, I think it's really complimenting to my eye, it kind of like lifts it as well. Obviously not using any tape so it just really fits my, uh, suits my eye shape I think. I'm then using the Anastasia Beverly Hills, uh, I think it's self made palette and I'm using the shade in hot chocolate which is just a nice sort of brim colour and I'm just again concentrating that into the crease of the eye. And then I end up working it in just into the crease as well just to warm it up. I just didn't feel it was dark enough as you could see so I'm just, I'm using the Zoeva brushes as well, the rose gold set. I think all the brushes, majority, I used are from that set. So here I am pulling that hot chocolate into the crease and it's just giving it more depth. I'm just repeating the exact same on the other side. I think I do actually go in again with hot chocolate and you'll see that in a minute. Yeah, I think this is me going back in again with hot chocolate just to make it a bit darker and give it a bit more depth. I personally think I don't suit really light eyes, I think I suit something that's a bit darker because I have dark eyes, so yeah. 
I'm then going back in with the Eden Primer Potion and I'm using a sort of flat angled concealing brush and I'm just going to carve out a nice sort of circular shape. Um, I'm starting in the tear duct area and then just following the shape of my eyelid. Um, if you do have a slightly hooded eye, obviously take it, a little, take it up a little bit further. Um, I think this is my normal eye and other eyes to hooded eye so uh, I'm just taking it to the sort of normal shape. And also, sure that you don't have a lot of product when you're doing the sort of um, corner of your eye just because you want that side to be like a lot lighter and not too much product. I'm then using this really nice shade from a cargo palette. I can't remember what the name of the palette is but it's that sort of bronzy colour. It's really pretty. Like that camera, this camera doesn't do it any justice. It's like such a nice colour. It's really pretty. I was going to put a glitter on top of it but I thought it, was, it looks nice like that. Here we go. Cheeky wee look into the eye look. And I'm just repeating the Eden Primer Potion on a flat um, concealing brush and just again carving out the shape. This is my slightly hooded eye, so I do take up this. I do take it up a tiny bit further, but not too much. And again, setting it with that really nice sort of bronzy shade. And then going back in with the Naked Basics palette in the shade Crave, which is just a sort of off sort of brim black. And again, I'm just focusing on that in the outer corner just to give it a bit more depth. And I'm then using a pore perfecting primer from Urban Decay and I'm just using that all over my face. And I will then use the new Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation in shade 3.5. Um, I personally find this foundation really, really good for my skin because I have really oily skin because I'm mixed race. So I get really oily throughout the day. Um, I remember the first time I tried this foundation, I had a shift at work and I work in a nightclub and it was absolutely hoaching, I was sweating and honestly my foundation has like never looked so good, like I looked on point. So yeah, like all nighter foundation is such a good name for it because I think it is the perfect foundation for like if you're going out clubbing and stuff like that. Um, as I said, I've got oily skin so it's perfect for me. If you've got drier skin, I don't find it that complimenting. And if you're an older person, I don't find it that complimenting. I bought a couple of bottles for my kit and I feel on older people, it can just make their skin feel like really, well not feel, but look really dry. And then I'm just using a naked uh, concealer, color, color corrector in the shade pink. And I'm just placing that underneath my eye area. And I'm just blending it down with a Zoeva brush and then just patting it in with this uh, Real Techniques um, foundation brush. I'm then going in with Urban Decay's Perversion Eyeliner which is like super black and I'm just taking that in my waterline and blending it out with a shadow from the Hot Chocolate, the Hot Chocolate Too Faced Hot, no Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette sorry and I don't know what the shade is but it's like a sort of brown shade. I'm then using Urban Decay's new eyeliner called Razor Sharp or something. Um, I do like my eyeliner, eyeliner quite dramatic, so you don't have to do it this dramatic, but I kind of like the sort of cat eye look. Um, I would say in like flash photography, it does have like a sort of flashback and kind of looks shiny. It doesn't look like that in person, but in photos it does, so not the best for photography and stuff like that, but it's still a really good eyeliner. I'm then using that Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit in the two lighter shades um, and I'm just starting off in the hairline where the top of my ear is and I'm blending it in in circular motions and I'm just going to slowly take it in further into my face. If you take it in any further it kind of just makes your face look dirty so I usually stick to the outer corner of your eye, don't go past that sort of like line. And then I'm taking it just underneath my jaw to do a little bit of contour in there and give it a bit more definition and then I'm just taking it up into my hairline. I've got kind of a small forehead so not too much, just a little bit. And then using Soft and Gentle Highlighter from MAC, which clearly has been dearly loved. And BAM! Look at that! Look at that shine! I'm also taking it on my forehead, nose and I usually find if you use your uh, sort of ring finger or any of your fingers, the natural oils from your finger um, usually make the highlighter go on a lot more intense so that's why I'm using my finger it just makes it a lot more shinier. 
just a little bit of highlighter uh, appreciation. Look at that go. I think I was looking for a lipstick actually. So I'm using this one from Line Crime and the packaging is like insanely pretty. I think this one's called Penny which is like a sort of coppery orange colour. I don't actually have a lip liner that's like is similar to this colour so I'm just popping it on straight away but if you do have a lip liner similar use it because I feel like it makes such a difference and gives it better definition and shape. And I'm just going in with the same concealer and just tidying it up a little bit. And boom you're done. So if you do enjoy this please like, subscribe, all that jazz, share this video, tell your friends, your family, your cat, your dog, whoever. But yeah. So thanks for watching. Bye.